Ready. Hi, this is Ron Hawkins here at ReaperCon, here with Tish Walter today. Hi, Tish. Hi. How's Hi. it going? It's going well. Thanks for Thank stopping you. by and doing a, our Thank interview you. with us. So, what do you think about the new venue? The new venue is fantastic. It's very swanky, and there's so much room to play games and mm -hmm. move about the vendor area. The very two things, nice. the two things I like over this area over the last area, mm -hmm. no crickets in the lights. Very nice. That's a good thing, um, and no ragged concrete floors, right? Very nice. And I just taught my first class. The classrooms are excellent. The way they're set up this year, everybody could get up close and see what we're doing. Yeah? Really no nice. crickets in the lights no in there either? No crickets in there okay, either. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a good thing. We didn't, we didn't even get charged with those crickets last year. Oh. That, was, that was a new thing. We are prepared, by the way. Just want to let you know, we are prepared for these interviews. Right, Justin? Sure. We have a list of questions. We're prepared. I don't All want to right. hear that we're not prepared. Just because we like to ad lib things doesn't mean we're not prepared. So, okay, so we, uh, you, you've done a lot of work in, in the industry before, mm -hmm. but, and you've done work for Reaper, but I wouldn't say you've done like uh, a lot of work for us, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you've done, you've taught a lot of Reaper cons, but as uh -huh. far as us having your, your uh, minis and our gallery and things like that, there are mm -hmm. some, but mm -hmm. I guess um, people don't know your name as well as they would know some of the sure. other names, just because sure. you kind of um, keep a, I don't know about a lower profile, but yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to get to know you a little bit better. So okay. how did you even get in? To miniatures to begin with? Um, my husband used to play D&D &D back in the day and I found his box of Ralph Partha stuff before we were married and asked him, hey, what is this? And he kind of had this look on his face like, this might be a deal breaker, maybe not. <laughs> but um, I expressed interest in painting them. So he started teaching me what he knew about painting. And probably Which about, was very little, right? Well, he actually did pretty good. Really? Yeah, he's hmm. pretty artistic. Huh. So I think about 2006 we came to Reaper Cons, and it was still at the So factory. that was when you discovered his lost box of minis? I did. Okay. I did. Around that time, and then we just happened to be looking at the Reaper website and uh -huh. saw Reaper Con was coming up. So we made the trek from Houston. So your first pin, uh, minis that you painted were Ralph Partha minis? I think one of the earliest, but then I bought a Reaper. I don't remember her name. She's holding a cat. So you got me with okay. the cat. Yeah. And then it was a lot of Reaper minis after that. Mishka, 2115, I think maybe, maybe. is the number. Just maybe just curly so. hair. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's okay. what that was. I don't even know that how I knew that. First, how do I even know that? That was my first Reaper mini. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so you've only been doing this about 12 years? About, yeah, 12, 14, something really? like that. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and so you just and then so you just got into it and then mm -hmm. so you when was the first uh, MSP Open contest that you entered? Um, I probably brought something my first year, mm -hmm. thinking it was, was really it, good. Was it was when it was at the the Reaper uh, it headquarters? Was at the, yeah, okay. yeah. The first few I went to were there. How'd you do? Did you bomb? I bombed. You bombed yeah, spectacularly, yeah. but I got a lot of feedback, and that's what really those judges are harsh. Me. Yeah. They're harsh. Ann Forster, she's mean. She's so mean. I learned a lot from Ann Forrest. Yeah, though, well, it so. shows because your stuff is, is like Thank you. up here now. Thank you. Um, so, okay, so, and then it, anything else happened in the industry since then? I mean, other, other manufacturers, who else have you painted for? I've painted, um, I mostly do commission work. So okay. I see a lot of stuff come in. I paint a lot of dark sword stuff, which yeah. I love. Good stuff. A lot of historical stuff. That's kind of my passion. Boring. So oh, really? Know, oh, it's your passion. I know. Historical it is, stuff I is your passion. I love history and so, I like history too. Yeah. So that's whenever I have time to paint for myself, I usually go for history. Really? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, just the, the, like the larger scale stuff? Yeah. 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 The painter right. type stuff. Right. Okay. Let's switch questions. Okay. Let's see. Nah, we're not going to ask that. <laughs> okay. So, what's your favorite? Never mind. We just answered that. I was going to say, what's your favorite genre? You already said that. <laughs> history, right? I like the historical. Okay. All right. Historical type mm -hmm. stuff. Um, okay. So, of all of the pieces you've done, and this is kind of a tough question. Uh -huh. What's your favorite piece, or what's the one, one you're most proud of? That's always kind of tough. It's like saying, what's your favorite kid? You know, it's it just is. like, you know. I have a Henry VIII piece mm -hmm. that I think was the one that finally I could see I had really moved up several levels yeah. from where I had been before. And it's a historical piece. It's yeah. an Andrea model. Andrea, yeah. So that's the one I can kind of look at mm -hmm. from here to here. That one's... A, a you definitely see a jump, see. a, a right. level up at that right. particular one. Yeah. So I'm really proud of that one. Yeah, cool. And it was for me, so I get to keep it. So. That's right. You don't have to hand it over to somebody yeah. else. Um, let's see. So is there, there's a lot of techniques, a lot of styles that people use mm -hmm. when, they, when they do the painting. Is there, a, is there a particular style or technique that you like to use when you're, when you're painting models? Um, you just kind of use them all? Yeah, it's, it is kind of a, a hodgepodge. Um, 
I've learned a lot from so many different people, mm -hmm. and everybody has their own style. I, I do like very realistic painting, mm -hmm. so um, some of these guys, some of the fantasy stuff, they can pull off with the yeah. non-metallic metals, and I'm a little more subdued, but... A little yeah. more realistic, yeah, like yeah. you said. So you, ever, uh, you ever dry brush? I do dry brush. Dry brushing has its place. Dry brushing place. is awesome. It has its place. Dry brushing is fantastic. Don't poo-poo the dry no, brushing. No, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Don't knock the dry brushing. Dry I brushing have, is awesome. Um, tomorrow I have a fur, a dry brushing class. and hair. <laughs> and you're going to teach and dry brushing. And we're going to have a little bit of dry brushing you're gonna in there. You're going to have two hours of dry brushing? I don't know if I can drag it out that long, oh my but gosh, that's a lot we, of dry brushing. We might have a full 40 seconds of dry brushing, and that should cover it. That leaves you, uh, let's see, one hour, 44 minutes, and 40 seconds left to talk about something I'll else. Figure out something. We'll figure out something yeah. to talk about. Okay. We'll okay. It. <laughs> so, um, I know this is more of a sculpting question, but uh -huh. you know, um, but is there a Bones Four model you're maybe kind of excited to see? Did you back Bones Four? Say yes, of course I backed everything. Bones Four. <laughs> I'm excited about some of those dragons up there at the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah. To have something that massive that's that lightweight is going to be really the, uh, nice. The dueling dragons that Julie yes. Guthrie sculpted is really Julie's quite awesome. Julie's stuff is I know. always she can't, awesome. And she in, she's got a piece over on the table. Uh -huh. Did you see what she entered in the painting contest? Yes. Yet? I just glanced at it for a second. I, have, I haven't really taken a good it look. Was she, yeah. It was just disgusting. It was just disgusting. The, the bust that she's done now, too, is really nice. Yeah, her... Yeah. yeah, she did. Julie did a um, a small uh, maiden bus for ReaperCon mm -hmm. for some of the faces classes. Yeah. And so, if people wanted to grab the, the faces bust and do painting on mm -hmm. you know testing out their faces techniques on the, this bust, it's perfect perfect size yeah, for, for that kind of fantastic. stuff. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, so, uh -huh. you are painting something for us right I now. I am. Yes. Yeah. Actually, they're finished. They're finished. I they're think here. it's up to you if they're finished, but so <laughs> I we, think they're we can tell. I think we can tell people what it is. Okay. It's kind of a surprise. Normally, what we do is we wait. So I asked Tish <laughs> to paint the September Dungeon Dweller mm -hmm. mini or minis, yeah. and we haven't revealed it. Normally, we put it on Facebook. We we'll put the picture up and say, "Here's our September whatever." But I'm going to let you tell everybody what the September Dungeon. This is world premiere. Nobody knows this wow. except for. You know, so half would the people have practiced a delivery or something then. So. I'll, we'll give you a drum roll. No, you, so, you're, so tell us what you're painting for the September Dungeon Dwellers. All right. We've got a couple of new kobolds coming out oh, for you. What? Yeah. I sent you the wrong minis. Oh. Oh, no. Well, okay. I have no, some kobolds really, if the, you want the them. the kobolds. <laughs> it is. Two brand new kobolds. Sculpted by Bobby Jackson. Yeah. And, and they're super cute but yeah. fierce looking little cute guys. Cute but fierce. We like that. Yeah. Um, and so the, and the paint colors. We'll be putting these photos up mm -hmm. online on social media. Probably as soon as I get photos, I guess. But within the next couple of days, we'll be putting these these, uh, these cobalts up. Okay. Uh, did you have fun painting them? They were. They're so much fun. They're cute. And it's nice to take a break from working on something that's a larger scale. Yeah, yeah. Just to do something fun. And they're not too complex. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you get to write a painting guide. Aren't you excited about that? Oh, I do. It'll be fun. It'll be great. <laughs> Two little cobalts. So we'll be putting those photos up pretty soon. All right. So before we wrap it up. Okay. Justin, before we wrap this up. I'm gonna ask one more question. All right, and you can kill it after that. So this, I'm asking, this is gonna be the final question for everybody. It, and it's not how was your flight, and how long was it? It is, um, what faction are you supporting this year at ReaperCon? You don't know, do you? You I, I didn't pick one. River Widows. She, that's the only one she remembered was River. No, no. I know I'm not Maggot Crown. No, yeah. she, River Widows. Cause you like priority and, stuff? I, I am a slacker on the factions, but Erin Hartwell stays on top of everything. She's like, you gotta get your stickers. Why do we even? Why do we even try? Why do no, we try? No. Can it's you name fine. the four factions? Um, Dusk Wardens. <laughs> One. The River Widows, Two. as I just said, okay. and almost couldn't say again. Okay. Dusk Wardens. Did I say that? You first said time? that. And the River Widows. <laughs> <laughs> Dusk Wardens, River Widows. The one Justin just said. Maggot Crown. Maggot Crown. Okay. And the fourth one is. The Blood, wolves. Blood Wolves. Blood Wolves. Blood Wolves. I <laughs> totally it. knew that one. <laughs> okay, so, but you're supporting River Widows. River Widows. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Check the box. Thanks for Thank checking you. in. Thanks Appreciate for having it. Me. Thanks for coming to ReaperCon. And Usually. you know what? She, Tish is, is teaching classes. Oh, 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 wait. No, no, no. I don't want to quit yet. I was only thinking. Okay. Tish is teaching the Reaper U Kids classes. Yeah. I do want to talk about that just for a second mm -hmm. because. Uh, we're, it's great to have a place <clears throat> for kids to come in and teach Absolutely. the kids' classes. So Absolutely. tell us more about, about the kids' classes, just the real quick. kids' classes from age 6 to 12, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
And it's, it's just fun, we make a mess, we learn basics, give them a little color wheel yep. to you know, kind of start getting a little introduction into color theory. But mostly it's just to have a good time and to introduce them into the hobby. Finger paints? So, sure. You sure, can totally do finger paints. How about need a brush. Be great, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, and because the, you, you started teaching these kid classes, mm -hmm. you know, uh, kids have always been free to Reapercon. If you've got kids 12 and under, they're free to Reapercon. But this year we've made a badge for them. Izzy yeah. de designed a badge. It's really cute. And, um, and so next year we're going to try to expand the kids' selection a little oh, bit great. more. So we've got a few kids' classes this year, but next year we're going to do more. And then we're going to do like kids' swag bags next year. That's what we're oh, hoping fun. to do. We're going to try to do that. Fun. So, And you are kind of the one who sort of pioneered oh, kids' classes. So, well, And David Siegel is teaching kids' yeah. class too. So yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun. So right. thanks That's for doing great. that. Yeah, it'll be sure. great. It's going to be great. All right. Thanks. So anyway, we're, we're out of here. Thanks, Bye. guys. <laughs> See you at Reapercon. Oh, one more interview. Mystery guest next.